Hi, welcome to my latest Fallout 4 settlement tour. Today we are looking at a rebuild of mine here at Sunshine Tidings Co-op with a touch of Minutemen and Railroad influence. For starters, they've secured the entire outer border of this settlement with extended stone walls and barbed wire fencing to create a light and natural looking defense so as not to detract from the natural beauty here at this thriving new campground. And with that, I hope you enjoy this tour. General. Here we have secured a new water source with water purifiers included, as well as slightly upgraded one of the original outhouses. Now that there are only two entrances, they are patrolled by the Minutemen who provide an additional layer of security to this central railroad safe house. Yes. Prospective settlers are directed to this check-in area where they can be interviewed to see if they will make a good, trustworthy addition to this settlement as long-term residents. For escape synth operations, they are given the option to have a fresh start here in this secure memory reset facility. Should they undergo this procedure, many new suitable supplies are provided, as well as insight into their new surroundings or any of their future survival needs. These settlers have set up a few campfires throughout the settlement in order to better cook their food and stay warm on these brisk early mornings. The rest of the settlement provides a long-term simple farming life in these patched up new cabins. The amenities are left minimal to blend in with surroundings and give a true outdoor survival experience. But basic necessities are included, including working plumbing, I used the Healthier Commonwealth Bethesda mod to bring new growth to the Commonwealth. And upon my return here, it inspired a lot of new ideas behind this rebuild. With this now dense forest, it reminded me a bit of the Alpine cabins in Fallout 76, minus the hauntings, of course. But it really feels like the perfect place for settlers to live off the land in peace. Crop 
it's been growing pretty good lately. Yes. This is actually the steamer trunk from the original quest line to in this place. Here we have the local clinic that comes complete with a very talented surgeon that often helps with some of the railroad operations. With the collaboration between faction supply lines and a lot of hard work, the settlers have fostered a thriving livestock population, as seen throughout. Oops, sorry for the intrusion. Let's give her her privacy. In most of these cabins, I left a lot of the original furniture and just added a few additional necessities. This is the warehouse cafeteria shack from before. It has been upgraded to better withstand the harsh weathers. And this back room is where the Minutemen communications and supplies are managed. The settlers here have been hard at work redecorating the common spaces to make more inviting conversation oh, settings. That place is nothing but trouble. Hello, ma'am. Farming's as honest as honest work. Here, you gotta take things one day at a time. Huh? Oh. And here, a few of the settlers even created a cozy little vices den so they can share some fun trips together. Farm's not much, but it's something.
The last stop here is the all-in-one market. It's very well stocked and supplied by the many Minutemen supply lines that now connect the Commonwealth. Yeah. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Isn't that something? And that is my fresh take on Sunshine Tidings Co op. I hope you enjoyed seeing this location with the possibility of regrowth post-warp. And if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe. I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.